survival of the fittest, that's the plan. You better recognize that I'm the man. I see you trying to mess up my plan. I see you right through you, I'm just saying. I'm to do my thing, don't really care what you be saying. I'm to do my thing, don't really care what you be That gets my blood. That gets my blood pumping. That gets my blood pumping. You know, when it when it comes to to heritage, when it comes to heritage, literally, when someone talks about heritage, they that's what goes into my mind. Like that's the first thing. <laughs> that's the first thing that goes that, that comes off when someone asks. What do you think is Heritage Day? That's the first thing. And then I gather myself and, you know, it's diverse languages, diverse culture in South Africa. <laughs> That's what it is. Heritage Day is all about. Hey, man, welcome to The Average Voice once again with your boy, KJ. Don't ask me what KJ stands for. Ask my older brother. He's the one that gave me this name. It sounds cool. It sounds very cool. I'm flowing with it. KJ. So welcome, 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 welcome to the average voice. Welcome to the average voice. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for coming back to the average voice. Hey, listen, um, it's been a crazy day. It's been a crazy day. Woke up with no electricity today. Zero electricity. Um, a tree fell where my car was parked. So at night, I decided to go. I was uneasy, man. I woke up uneasy, like 4 a.m. this morning. It was uneasy. You know, it was windy. And I was like, nah. I went outside because we live in a very safe place. So I went out, go park the car in the garage around 5, 4 a.m. And I went back to bed. Lo and behold, in the morning, a huge tree stump. No, a whole tree, actually, was laying where my car was parked. Yes. <laughs> so if it wasn't for my ancestors and God, I wouldn't, I would, I would be sitting without a car today. So I'm grateful for that. I'm very grateful. Very, 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 very grateful. So I spent most of the day um, cutting that tree and, you know, getting, clearing the rubble from, from the road. So I spent most of the time and we still had no electricity. So I don't know if you guys are aware of what's going on here in, in, in the Western Cape. We are, the weather is killing us now. We got floods left, right, and center. Um, it's the, 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 the one that live, the people that live close to the ocean, they, they recently had a, 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 what, a high tide coming into their shops and homes and cars were wrecked, you know, just, I don't know what's been going on it's the past, for the past two months. Sorry, for the past two weeks. For the past two weeks here in the Western Cape, that's what we've been going through. And yeah, my prayers are with the ones that are very less fortunate than I, because it was just a tree and it didn't even hit the house. It didn't hit the, the car. And you can imagine what everyone else is doing, how everyone else is going through. So my prayers are with you guys in the Western Cape. And I wish you guys all well. And I hope you everyone recovers uh, from this. And, you know, it's crazy. It's just, it's nearly the festive, nearly festive season. And all your savings are now just going to go towards repairing and, and stuff. Uh, I hope you get your spirits up. I really, really hope you get your spirits back up. Yes. Sorry about that, people. You know, I just had to, you know, 
as West Coast people, we stick together, stick together out here. So yeah, man. Um, so the elephant in the room today, I said I'll do something short for Heritage Day. Heritage Day. Here we go. Um, the elephant in the room is Heritage Day today. So we all know in South Africa we are very diverse. We are known as the Rainbow Nation. So a rainbow is a thing in the sky with lots and lots and lots of colors. So we are in a very colorful, literally, skin tone. And er <laughs> hey, let me not go there, right? Yeah, colorful country, man. Colorful country, different diverse cultures and whatnot. So yeah, man. Um, okay, me. You, there's a disclaimer there. I don't know what it says, but I put a disclaimer there. But so it helps me to just say whatever I can, and you know, so that you don't say, "Hey, Baba, hey, you said." I'm like, yeah, I know what I said. This it's still my opinion. This I'm just an average guy, all right. So yeah. So in South Africa, we have this one thing. That um okay, before I get into the, that huge elephant that's in the room about heritage, uh excuse me. Um we have eleven official sign languages, but now they've added one, which is sign language. So we have twelve official languages and amongst our people in South Africa. All right. I think there's going to be one soon. Uh, I don't know, but they're still talking about it. Uh, the Khoisan, they want their language also to be to be part of it. All right. So I just, I'm just i just happy that the sign language as well is also recognized in South Africa, which is very dope. It's pro very progressive. So bring on the Khoisan as well, man. Like apparently they were here first. They were here first and we all followed. So that's the elephant that is in the room in our heritage. Um, what's great about South Africa is that um, as much as we have so many different uh, cultures in South Africa, we, we all coexist. I, I know in, in different urban areas, it's hard for you to come and slaughter a cow for, or a goat for traditional purposes because your next door neighbor is of another culture. They, in, they clash, right? But all in all, we live in a harmonious, it's just one or two Karens out there, you know, uh, black Karens, white Karens, colored Karens. There's, you know, one or two Karens out there that are like, what's going on when someone else practices their culture next door. So yeah, man, that's my elephant in the room. It's like, is that, is that fair? Is that fair for us um, to not embrace our, our, our culture? Now that we live in a certain area, should it now change who we are just because now we've moved to a different area? Should we? Is that fair? I don't know. I don't know. So uh, the, <laughs> in South Africa, um, the stories is um, some guy came. I'm not going to mention his name, but long time ago, this guy came the boat and he was like yo let, let's just park here for a while and let's see what's going on now, we've been in the boat for forever so they they landed in the cape of good hope i think 1950 something they landed in cape of good hope and they're like mm, this land is dope we like this land and there there were people there, there so the, the khoisan they're the, the they're the first people that had contact with them uh they were the khoisan so while that is happening down there, and we go to KZN side, because that's where the story is like bubbling. So there's wars there because um, they they want more land. They want to 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 rule that area. So there's there's something going on there, and these guys are fighting. And then if you lose, you you get driven further down. So can imagine like maybe you live up to up to newcastle you get chased down to Dur to durban get chased down uh to port Chepstin, down and you cross the river and then all of a sudden you're in the eastern cape and then you start your own thing in the eastern cape and you start fighting there 
with other people and then you guys divide amongst each other and you chase each other down up until you come to the Cape, to Cape Town, right? So that's the story of black people in South Africa. So for me, I don't know who came first. It doesn't matter anymore anyway. It doesn't matter who was here first. So because back then, what, what, what mattered is um, who, 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 was, who was strong enough in fact, around the whole world, must you know, the only way you could be respected was through war. So if you lose the war, then that's that's who that's the place, the 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 person that came and dethroned you. They take your home. You know, you, it's either you live under them or you leave. But now it's their home. It's it's under their control. So that's what happened with South Africa. Has been. Chop and change, chop and change between the the white people, the Boer and the, and the English, and the Dutch, and all that. And, you know, chopping and changing because they had weapons. You know, and we were out here with spears and this cow and not giddies. You know, we couldn't win. We couldn't win. So that's why I'm saying, man, it doesn't even matter that 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 time has passed. That time has passed. But what matters now is. Why are you still being punished for for being? Why are you being punished for liking, uh, for being an Indian? Why are you being punished for being a Khoisan? Why are you still being punished for being white? Uh, why are you still being punished for being black? Is that still fair? Why is that still even a thing? Why are we still talking about that? So that's the elephant in the room for the day. So, but we have a very great diverse culture in South Africa. Uh, we haven't had a unified thing. You know, there hasn't been a unified culture as of yet. We're still doing our own individual thing. And, you know, the only thing that makes us all South African is um, our IDs so far. So our ID card, because we have an identity number, that's what makes us all one South African clan. But individually... Um, you are Mkosa, you are a Zulu, you are this, you are that, you know, and of which they all stem from each other. Just like what I said in the last, uh, in the last uh, uh, episode about these, 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 um, these countries, uh, sorry, not countries, about these parties stemming from either or, right? So we are all coming from, as, especially the black nation, we come from one one huge chunk of people and then we just separated into what we are today so guys you know it's called tribalism uh and zulu and of course a peer person they still don't get along even today <laughs> um it's 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 weird but it's good though it's good i grew up in kzn but i'm not closer i'm not zulu either i, I lived in pe and i lived in kzn uh pfft, I, either or you go to the the Eastern Cape side, it's like ah Zulu is this Zulu that. You go to the to the KZN side, they're like ah ah closer this closer this. <laughs> it's just life, man. It's just life. So yeah. So you need to think for yourself, man. Is it is this fair? Is it fair that now we um I I made enough money now I can't thank my ancestors. Because next door, you know, your kids are scared to to even, like, who, you're not even invited, first of all, I mean, but anyway, this is my house, but then you're not happy that I'm, 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 I'm embracing my culture, you know, my heritage, right? It's kind of unfair, don't you think? And is it unfair? I, I think it's also unfair that, um, yeah, I am, I'm a boor, um, I'm doing my thing. But then now you 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 come and intrude on my space. Uh, I like rugby a lot. Yes, it's a public thing, but like it's my thing, right? But now, guys, it's also a it's a national thing. You know, we all watch it. We all watch it. So was that unfair for us? Why do we we come into the 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 the, the rugby space and we want everyone to be black in that space? Is that fair? Is that fair? Is that fair? I know some other people are like, hey, soccer in South Africa is predominantly black. No one's complaining. Really? I don't know as well. Is that also fair? That's part of our heritage. Funny enough. 
the sport sports is very much part of our heritage and i think rugby is the only sport in my opinion by the way that brings us all together in south africa because i mean that's that's where most like you see all these cultures coming together that's the only time you see them all together at once cricket yes maybe but rugby definitely yes definitely yes so even on the 20, uh, on the 24th on heritage day it has been turned to bride day you know what i mean so it's bride day for everyone so that's one national thing that's happening i know it's been commercialized like that but it works man it works i like it i like it so i think we still have a long way to go as south africans man ah, but we're doing great so far we're doing great because we are able to to live in our own spaces we are able to join other spaces and you know just make even our kids they go to school together now multiracial schools that was unheard of back in the day but now that's what we got so that's our heritage in south africa so we got food for days and everyone makes their own food it doesn't matter which household you go to uh which culture you go to you're going to love something that they cook in south africa that's what's great about us we got so much diversity you can't even say south africa is only known for this thing you know western cape they got their own thing um pe sorry the eastern cape got its own thing uh kwazulu natal got their own thing the free state uh joburg hey hey yeah you got your own thing i don't know what you got over there but <laughs> but joburg got they have everything cuz that's where everyone moves to so but i don't know man what you got over there <laughs> so and we also um got, got great neighbors in swaziland and lesotho and you know they their their language is also official here in south africa so we you know we're very welcoming people man we're very welcoming people and chinese are coming to just watch the space watch the space the chinese are coming all right so yeah that's that's my short thing i don't know man um what did i do today what did i do today what did i do i do, i told you what i did i cleared the way i cleared the way went into town and yes it's it's, it's bad man it's bad um i think it was also mainly quiet because it's it's a public holiday today but yeah man it's just been a sad day it's been a bad day but i'm trying to lift my spirits i'm trying to lift my spirits so there we go man if if you want to know more about your own heritage i always say don't take my word don't listen to me cuz all this talk nonsense guys google your stuff it's all there it's all there so if you don't know how many languages you got there's 12 what are they we got zulu i'm going to read them right now we got zulu tosa afrikaans english pedi tswana sisuthu tsonga swati venda tebele and sa sun language all right and you we all know each language is literally named after its its own culture really a zulu person speaks zulu also you know that's how it is <laughs> that's how it is we make it so easy for everybody so yeah guys man ah, yes my spirit is a little bit down from from what's what's happening around here in the western cape but yeah man i'm i'm glad though that i'm glad that we we pulling through like really my prayers are with you guys that are going through this tough time and yeah 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 guys I have to love and leave you guys. Um I did say this was going to be a very very short one and yeah man stick with me stick with me stick with me. And yeah I'm going to leave you with another one. Another one. This is my favorite of all time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,